Our top story this hour, India's biggest state-owned oil and natural gas explorer, ONGC, is now, in fact, uh, looking for grand mergers and acquisition plans overseas. It has had uh, Iran on its target recently, but now it's keen on Russia as well. We will, of course, hear about all the details of what its Russian plans are all about. Promit Mukherjee is standing by with all the exclusive details. Uh, Promit, tell us more. Yes, the Siberian asset which ONGC got after its acquisition of UK-based and Russia-focused Imperial Energy in December 2008 is being developed at a very fast pace. Our sources say that the company is targeting an output of 20,000 barrels per day by this year end from this asset. Aris Sharma, who is ONGC's chairman, said yesterday that the company is currently producing around 15,000 barrels per day from this asset from a mere 6,000 barrels a year ago. In fact, the company is also preparing a development plan to exploit the Siberian reserves further. Once this development plan is ready, the company will have a comprehensive and a complete plan to go ahead and develop the reserves further, which is expected to be huge. The refinancing for the debt, which is $1 billion, has also been tied up. Mr. Aris Sharma, although he did not give much details, but said that uh, the $1 billion of debt which the company had taken was expected to expire in January 2010. Now, once this expires, the company will be needing refinancing. So, for this refinancing, the company has already tied up. The total purchase of Imperial Energy in December 2008 was $2.3 billion and uh, out of this, the debt component was $1 billion. When we spoke to Mr. Aris Sharma yesterday, this is what he had to say. I was uh, in uh, the Moscow, uh, came back on uh, uh, this uh, ninth morning. So on 8th, the production had uh, crossed 15,000 barrels when we had taken. It was about 6,000 barrels and we are slowly ramping up. Uh, the production, it, we are devoting more time to understand the uh, complexities of the, the reservoir and we know the environmental conditions, they are quite demanding, quite tough. We are uh, doing more of this GNG studies and uh, I'm confident that in times to come that's going to prove to a very good asset. We had uh, the, that uh, tied up uh, that uh, loan of uh, through a commercial paper last year which is uh, due, due for maturity in the month of January and uh, that was a one year commercial paper we have to look for refinancing and we have tied up the refinancing I would not spell out the details as of now but we have tied up Thanks, Promit. After testing the market for close to two years, Europe's number one car maker, Volkswagen, is all set to make an entry into the serious end of the market, which is the small car space. The company today began production of its first small car, Polo. Siddharth Vinayak Patankar and Ketan Tucker find out what this means for the company, and especially with the global tie-up with Suzuki now on, what are the synergies in store for Volkswagen Group? For Europe's largest car company, Volkswagen, which produced its first car in India on Saturday, the prospect of Indian market looks larger than ever before, thanks to the Suzuki tie-up. We are now starting uh, to look for uh, projects uh, for synergies. If uh, I look uh, to India, uh, of course, there may be synergies in uh, purchasing. Maybe uh, Suzuki can help us to, be, uh, to come quicker uh, to a higher local content um, uh, here in India and uh, we will look as well for further projects but work just starts. Tubar .com. 